overall, antioxidants have great benefits in protecting against many different diseases. Um, you know, it's, it's thought that oxidative stress and oxidative damage is the root cause of many diseases, including coronary heart disease, cancer, Alzheimer's, diabetes, and others as well. So antioxidants um, protect the body against these reactive oxygen species that build up and then cause damage both to cells and tissues, leading to some of these chronic diseases. Ergothionine is pretty much a newly discovered potent antioxidant found mainly in mushrooms, although it's found in some other foods as well. But uh, mushrooms are a particularly rich source. So we know that ergothionine is absorbed by the body. Uh, we recently did a study to look at this. We gave eight grams or 16 grams of a mushroom powder and looked at ergothionine incorporation in red blood cells uh, after consumption of the mushrooms and a high fat meal. So they, the ergothionine is absorbed and it's incorporated into red blood cells. Now, uh, you know, what are the unique functions of ergothionine? Uh, there's ongoing research to find out specifically what it does. Nonetheless, it's a potent antioxidant and nutritionists and health professionals uh, value food-based antioxidants and uh, basically recommend consumption of foods that are rich sources of antioxidants for their uh, projected health benefits. We think that they may have uh, very distinct, unique effects. And so that's why people should uh, incorporate mushrooms, for example, in their diets to um, get a source of ergothionine uh, from foods that they eat. I think consumers need to eat a lot of fruits and vegetables. And in general, nutritionists recommend eight to 10 servings a day. And certainly, mushrooms should be included in those fruits and vegetables that people typically eat. Our research found that either eight grams or 16 grams of mushrooms consumed with um, about 60 grams of fat, now the typical amount that people consume with a meal, a lunch meal, uh, a dinner meal, helps to blunt that um, after meal fat response. So rather than have high fat levels in the blood, uh, the mushrooms cause lower fat levels in the blood. And many health professionals think that this is a, a big health benefit, at least as it relates to cardiovascular disease. And uh, we know that when fat clearance is sluggish, it can cause problems and um, contribute to atherosclerosis. So that's another very good message for consumers to take home, and that is that Consumption of mushrooms with a meal can help blunt um, a fat response in the blood to the meal. Well, the, the research about mushrooms is very exciting. What we found to date is really exciting. There's ongoing research that's forthcoming, and there's great potential about future research with mushrooms and health benefits. I recently attended an ergothionine meeting, and I think all of the researchers were just blown away about all of the potential health benefits with ergothionine. And I liken this research to what we heard in the early 90s with omega-3 fatty acids. And then, you know, thereafter, the research just flowed, and now everybody recognizes health benefits of omega-3 fatty acids, and I think that we're at that stage 20 years ago with omega-3s, with ergothionine now.